I've been extremely impressed with the diversity and the quality of a number of games for the iPod, but to date, this one is my favorite. And how could it not be? I Dracula. I love this game. Just look at it. It's like a ridiculous gothic version of Smash TV, which is the unofficial sequel to Robotron 2084, which is basically uh, one of my favorite games ever made. It has more in common with Smash TV because of the weapons upgrades. It looks wonderful on the iPod screen graphically. This is solid, it's smooth, and check out the controls. Very clever. They're not ideal because they do block the bottom left and bottom right of the screen. Ideally, ideally, and here's an idea for a peripheral for you guys out there who make, who make iPod accessories. What we need is a gigantic Robotron 2084 machine with an iPod adapter so you can just plug your iPod touch into a, a full-size Robotron 2084 machine or Smash TV machine with dual joysticks. That wouldn't be very portable, but arguably it would have better battery life than the iPod Touch itself. There's three different environments that you get to wage war upon the undead here in I, Dracula, all of which are very well rendered, and the sound quality in this game is excellent as well, given that this is an iPod game. This is better than many PS3 and Xbox 360 games, and it's on the iPod. Many people don't take the iPod seriously. After playing this game, you will. They're not all this good, but I, Dracula shows what can be done with this thing. I just wish there was a way to have an accessory for two joysticks so you didn't have to block the bottom left and right of the screen with your thumbs or fingers. I started off for the review trying to play with my fingertips. I couldn't really play very well. I need to play with my thumbs, so I picked up the iPod. This isn't my favorite way of filming things, but this does give you an idea of what it's like to actually play iDracula or other iPod games. One tip, preferably after blowing away enemies, you want to run through them because they drop health potions and weapons. There's a standard wave after wave slaughter enemies mode where you pick up weapons upgrades and green health potions. There's a rush mode where they give you one powerful weapon and you just go nuts slaughtering ridiculous waves of enemies. It keeps track of your high scores and this game is insanely fun. So say what you will about the iPod, personally, I think the iPod Touch is terrific. It could use some control enhancements to get your fingers off the game screen. iDracula is a terrific game that would be excellent on any game console. Even the Atari 7800. Well, of course it would be excellent on the Atari 7800. What game is not? <laughs>